ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be starting unit three, um, focusing on population dynamics. Day one today, we're gonna to be talking about exploring extinction. In unit two, we examine the concepts of unity and diversity among living things, focusing on the characteristics of life, mainly cells and homeostasis. This unit, we're gonna begin exploring the concept of diversity and how life is different. So just looking at this image, we see a massive, massive variety in life. We have bacteria, giant palm trees, desert flowers. I don't even know what this is. It looks like it's some sort of crazy tree. Amphibians. I think that's some sort of sea cucumber. Uh, some woods. Life is very diverse and very different and expresses itself in very different ways. Key term, biodiversity. This needs to get written down in your doodle sheet. Biodiversity is the variety of life in the world or in a particular habitat or ecosystem. Key term. Okay, that means you need to write it down. <clears throat> so why is biodiversity important? All species, including humans, depend on each other to survive. Lots of biodiversity leads to the loss of services that nature provides that are essential to the functioning of our society and economy. We depend on ecosystems for food, fuel, stabilization of our weather, stabilization of our water supply, and it also provides us with just nature. Like we get to experience the gorgeousness of it. So materials such as food, fuel, and resources, uh, fibers, regulating climate, waste, and pollution, uh, supporting process such as water purification and I can't, the nutrient cycle, and once again, opportunities for enjoyment of the beautiful outdoors. Key term, ecosystem services, services that ecosystems perform that help support human civilization. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always press pause. Key term, that means it needs to get written down, ecosystem. All of the living and non-living things in an area that interact with one another. Box A. So copy all of this into your doodle sheet. Remember, if I move too fast, you're welcome to press pause and copy it. So the importance of biodiversity. Humans depend on the biodiversity of the earth for ecosystem services. Number one, provisions. This means food, hunting, gathering, cultivation. Cultivation. Right? We eat other things that are alive, whether they're plant or animal. We need shelter and warmth. That means wood, timber, uh, wool, timber, cotton. Medicines, traditional and synthesized, has a lot of comes from a lot of natural resources. Supporting services such as nutrient slash water cycling, photosynthesis, and soil formation. Regulation of regulating services. This means air, water purification. Pollination and climate moderation. And finally, cultural services, recreation, health, and anesthetics. <clears throat> so, what is happening to biodiversity now? Okay, so these graphs are showing the extinctions, the number of extinctions in the last, what, 500 years? As you can see from this graph, it's getting worse and worse. Things are going extinct faster. Declines in species. So when it's declining, that means not good. On this one, we want them to go up. However, they're going down. That means that species, the number of species are being reduced, which is never a good thing. Um, this video is awesome. It's the importance of biodiversity. I love it. It's only three minutes long. If I were to press play on this, you would not be able to hear it. However, I do highly recommend you go to the slideshow and watch this three minute video. Um, this is a West African black rhinoceros. Um, this was declared extinct in 2001 due to poaching and demand for rhino horns. Did you know that rhino horns are basically fingernails? Like they're made of the exact same thing of fingernails, but for some reason, these poor creatures are killed for them. Golden toad. 
This became extinct in 1989 due to exposure to pollution, global warming, and fungal skin infection. So these little guys are, gonna, are very sensitive to the air. So if the air is super polluted, it's going to leave them susceptible to more um, skin ailments. The Tasmanian tiger went extinct in 1936. This was native to Australia and lived in Tasmania until the 1930s. It's believed to be hunted to extinction. Um, the passenger pigeon, the last one Martha died in 1914 at the Cincinnati Zoo, was one of the most common birds in America until they were decimated by hunting. Um, I believe these guys were eaten. I could be wrong. Um, the Dutch elk and blue butterfly, not the most gorgeous butterfly. Oh, that's the picture of a close. Okay. So this isn't actually a picture of one, um, found mainly in the grasslands of the Netherlands and lost its main source of food due to the negative impact of farming and building on its natural habitat. So basically we leveled its home and built our own. The Pyrian Ibex, the last parent Ibex was found dead under a fallen tree. We collected samples, and we, because in 2009, it became the first species to be brought back into existence via cloning. However, the species went extinct again seven minutes later after the newborn died due to lung failure. So that didn't work out very well. The Sphinx Macaw, right, 2014. Um, so I believe that this is actually the bad bird from... Um, <clears throat> Rio. So if you guys remember the movie Rio, like the bad guy bird, I'm pretty sure that was based on this species. Um, so this bird went extinct due to habitat destruction and illegal trapping and trading. The Carolina parakeet went extinct in 1918. This was native to eastern medways and plain states of the United States. So this lived in our country. Um, they were labeled as probably poisonous because birds died from eating them and were have known to have eaten toxic seeds of cucumbers. So they basically ate toxic food and cats that ate it wound up dead. Total guys. Stellar sea cow went extinct in 1768. It was discovered in 1741. That means it went extinct 40 years, almost 50 years after we discovered it. It was a gentle creature and it fed on kelp in the Bering Sea over 25 feet long and weighed up to 10 tons. So 25 feet long is pretty long. That's about five of you lined up head to toe. It was hunted by indigenous peoples and then Alaska bound European fishermen and seal hunters for food. The skins were then used to make boats and oil for lamps. <laughs> well, I always laugh when I see this. I can't help it. What happened to this thing's other two legs? Oh, okay. Anyways, what is extinction? Hey, extinction is a key term. It means the dying out or termination of a species. So the moment of extinction is generally considered to be the death of the last individual of the species. Now, I will admit that sometimes the date of extinction can be moved or even um, wiped out because there have definitely been instances where, for example, the last known Tasmanian tiger dies. However, they later have found some in the wild. So that is very, very rare and very awesome when that happens, but not always. Usually once the species is labeled as extinct is because there are no more in the world. Okay, so we are done for today. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit and you got some notes down. Um, but I hope you guys have a very nice day and I will see you tomorrow.